A new dramatic fantasy series airs this week on Whakata Māori, the untold stories of Tūtere Moana. The series includes three tribal stories of the ancient Ngaitara people, reimagined for a new generation and delivered 100% in te reo Māori. The show was produced by three mana wahine, including award-winning director Hiona Henare, produced by Ricky Lee Russell and Charlene George from Sweet Shop and Green Productions. Mā takitaki mai. Director of the Untold Tales of Tūtere Moana, Hiona Henare, uh, Ngai Tara Mua Upoko is with us now. Tēnā koe, Hiona. Thank you for joining us and congratulations on your series going to air for the first time last night. Neil, hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Nice to be talking with you today. How are you feeling about seeing your show go to air last night? Um, yeah, it was really nerve-wracking because, um, you know, we started making the project in 2020 and we had to go through all the lockdowns and, you know, it was like, go, stop, go, stop. And then, like, just finally getting it over the finish line last night, that's what it felt like. Like, it's one thing finishing the project, but when it's mm. when you actually have to share, share the films. Mm. Now, you are Ngaitara. <laughs> uh, this is a Ngaitara Whakapapa story. So what makes this especially special for you? Well, you know, it's it's growing up and, um, you know, people will ask, as, as Māori do, where are you from, what's your iwi? And, you know, I'd reply with Mūpoko or Ngaitara and I'd always get a, um, a where, a who, a what, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, so it was important for me to bring some visibility to our Fano because Marupoko are the descendants of Ngaitara. There's a whole, there's lots of different Fano, but essentially Marupoko are descendants of Ngaitara, and some people don't know Ngaitara either. Sure. So now the series is broken up into three parts: Toiroa last night, Ori Ori, and Firo to come. What can we expect? That's a little bit different from all of them. Well, so, so it's Ngaitara oral stories, so that's what um, binds the three films together. But we jump into different timelines, and that's what makes them different. You had a lot of kaimahi working on this anthology. Talk to us about some of them and why they were so instrumental in this success. Wow. Uh, I've, oh, there's so many good stories. <laughs> Um, uh, one is I um, when I wrote the script for um, for Toiro, um, I knew in my head that I wanted um, Lawrence um, Makuari, and um, he of course he he went into retirement. Mm. He, he was just overacting, so I reached out to him anyway, and I sent him the script. And in like half an hour, he got back to me, and um, with a thumbs up. And I guess it's just people like Lawrence, and there's a whole bunch. We've also got um, um, Mabel Farikawa Burt, Tania Heke, Mary Boynton, uh -huh. um, Firimako Black. I mean, it's just jammed with all these beautiful Māori performers. You know, we're talking about the best of the best, and it's just been a real experience getting to work with these professionals and, you know, because I'm really a baby when it comes to these these giants. <laughs> but, yeah, it's um, I've, I've learned a lot. I'm still learning. What, what types of things, then, have you learned, not only through this journey but from some of these icons in the industry? What have I learned? Um, well, now would be a good time to mention working with um, the veteran cinematographer, uh, Fred Lenata. And um, so he does a lot of mahi with um, Te Arapakahi, um, and he's shot 
well, four, four films for me now. Um, but working, I think the reason why Te Arepa and myself, why, why we keep gravitating or circling back to Fred is because he is, um, well, first of all, an outstanding mm. cinematographer, but he also gets it. He actually gets what, what he can, you know, bring into the frame as well in terms of, of the story of being Māori and mm. all the different layers that um, our Māori stories have because we're not just in, you know, this realm, we're in a few different realms. So his ability to bring everything into that frame for that moment, for that whole film, you know, it's um, I, I just love him so much and... Um, yeah, I'm trying to rope him in, into my next project. <laughs> it makes a big difference though, right? Getting those right shots. Now the series uh, was filmed in, in some stunning locations, I believe, around Aotearoa. Where did you film and what types of locations were you, were you looking for? We wanted to film at the, the actual places of the, the stories. So with the um, with uh, Tuiroa, we couldn't get up to the Tararua's Rangers. I'm pointing that way because the Tararua Rangers are right behind me and live in. <laughs> so we went down south to the Nelson Lakes um, and shot there because we had everything we needed. We had oh. all the we had the snow, we had the the mountain ranges, we had the you know the terrain, we had the lakes, um, and we were I fed in, into that um, venue up with um, Rangatane and Ngati <clears throat> Ngati Kuya. And um, Ngati Apa, mm. Kite Tora. Um, and so that was for the first film. And then the second film, Faka Ori Ori, well, Ori Ori, we shot in Faka Ori Ori and mastered in. Um, and then with Fero, we shot in the Hora Whenua, actually out at Foxton Beach. Well, so well, these are all sort of, yeah, yeah, they're all Kura Haupo, mm, Kura yeah. Haupo places. So, and look, the, and look, looking Kura, forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it. Um, and, and you can watch uh, the series here on Fakata Māori on Monday nights. Filmmaker Hiona Henare, thank you so much for joining us today and all the very best for your new series. Thank you, Neil. Nice to meet you. You too.